Irish Society of St. Columban was founded in 1918 by two young Irish priests, Fathers Edward Galvin and John Blowick. The society takes its name from St. Columban. Columban was one of the greatest Irish missionaries who worked on the European continent. We are a society of missionary priests and lay people who work in 16 countries around the world. I currently serve in the Diocese of uh, Hyderabad and I'm working in a parish called St. Thomas in a small rural city called Badin, which is about three hours drive from Karachi. Here in the parish, we mainly work with Pakrikoli people, Sindhi Bills and Punjabi. We go in the name of the church to announce the good news of Jesus Christ. We go where the gospel has not been preached and we stand in solidarity with the poor. We fundraise to help those living in poor conditions. We provide education and develop schools, hospitals and clinics in areas of need. I continue my work in eliminating human trafficking by conducting education and awareness raising workshops for parish communities and senior high school students, as well as giving workshops on forced marriage to priests. In Pakistan, I've been teaching in the Theologicate, the major seminary. I've been engaged in <clears throat> primary evangelization amongst the Hindu tribal people, um, set up educational um, institutes, um, very much involved with uh, health care and providing health care to those who are most deprived. Also ensuring that the first ever um, free home-based palliative care nursing service for people who are terminally ill with cancer has been established at St. Elizabeth Hospital in Hyderabad, with which I'm connected. I'm living and working in a drug rehabilitation centre. It was set up in 2015 by the Michina Catholic Diocese in response to the epidemic of drug addiction that is in this part of Myanmar. The centre offers a safe place for people to come and to seek recovery. A hundred million Filipinos who are living in a poverty and so uh, many children are recruited in the uh, villages and the towns and brought into the cities and uh, they're victims of human trafficking. So uh, our work is to identify, of course, the traffickers. We work with law enforcement, but also we at Preda provide a rescue and for these children and also a recovery and a center whereby they can uh, be empowered and to overcome the trauma. And the traumatization that they suffer is intense and uh, they need a lot of help to recover. We support climate change and provide accommodation to migrants, asylum seekers and refugees. But we focus on the environment, particularly climate change, loss of biodiversity, and we do it, you know, because we care for the earth. We're very inspired by Laudato Si. Columban mission is to work for peace, sustainability, economic justice, and to look at the migrants issue. I'm presently working in Sinchu Catholic Diocese Migrants and Immigrants Service Center or HMISC as Shelter Supervisor. I accompany migrants like Indonesians, Vietnamese Thais and Filipinos in distress. I listen to their stories and concerns. I also facilitate some activities for them like team building, gardening and film viewing. Laudato Si has guided much of our work, the cry of the earth, the cry of the poor, and also um, Pope Francis' very, very uh, prophetic defense, but also a very intimate relationship with refugees and migrants. And that's really been at the heart, I think, of our <coughs> commitment, but also our joy to be working uh, in, with the Columbans and in defense of migrants, defense of the poor, defense of the earth. We promote interreligious dialogue and believe in Christian Muslim relations. For the last 20 years, I've been working in Christian Muslim relations in Sydney, which opened out to interfaith relations in general, with believers from the Baha'i, Buddhist, Hindu, Jewish, Sikh, and Zoroastrian religions. We promote vocations to the priesthood and endeavor to build our society by assisting those less fortunate than ourselves. 
For me, vocation means a journey, a process of responding to God's call, a process of discernment. You know, not everything is as clear as you'd like them to be. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes support from others. And most importantly, for me, it is constantly returning to the source in Christ Jesus. Vocation is, is a response to life, to all that surrounds me. It's about discovering and rediscovering myself in relation to God and to others. And so, the, you know, the, the kind of questions that come in vocation is, you know, where am I in all this? Where do I fit in? How do I fit in? Where is God in, in all these experiences? How shall I respond? I'm currently in uh, a parish called uh, Nuestra Señora del Rosario or Our Lady of the Rosary. Uh, I'm serving there with uh, Father Vincent Ratnam, uh, who's also from Fiji, I believe from Lautoka. Um, we have, uh, we live in the parish in uh, the northern zone of Santiago, uh, Santiago City, and the parish has only one uh, capi uh, chapel that uh, a lot of people, um, mostly elderly people, a little bit of the um, youths that have joined in and we hope to have more uh, Venezuelans, Haitians who are coming in slowly. The mission has uh, moved from uh, 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 mostly concentrated Chileans to uh, migrants, workers and also to youths and uh, we're hoping to get more vocation throughout this ministry and mission with parish work within the, within the Colombians. I came to the Philippines in 2018 to continue my study in the Loyola School of Theology for philosophy courses and this is my second year in philosophy. I was happy as well because I assigned as an apostolic minister in Pasay Cemetery where I meet with students, kids, mothers and they are poor people and I'm really glad to evangelize them and also to know their culture as well. The whole realm of being missionary is to uh, create a welcoming situation whereby dialogue can take place. The last 25 years I've been working in South America, specifically in Chile and Peru, and even more specifically in parishes in fairly rough areas on the edges of the two capital cities of Santiago and Lima. I must say that throughout I've been sustained by the, the help, the donations, and the prayers of friends, families, and benefactors. We are the Missionary Society of St. Columban.